head back up this bridge. What is it a bridge over exactly? Does it actually go over the water? No. Okay, it doesn't actually serve a purpose. Let's claim our prize! Woo! I got a nugget! Nice! I can go sell that. How would you like to join Team Rocket? Now why doesn't it give you the option to say yes? I think that would be a fantastic game where you just join Team Rocket. I mean, come on! How awesome would that be? Like a more adult-oriented Pokemon game focusing on joining Team Rocket and going around the world committing nefarious acts. That would be wonderful! But no, not in these games. We must dream. Until someone mods it. Unless someone's already modded it. Who knows? Who knows? Alright, let's switch out and get Fran back in the fray, because she's at full health. Should be able to do some damage. Oh dear, Ekans. Oh dear. How much is Thundershot going to do? Hmm, fair bit. Oh, of course Fran gets poisoned. Poor Fran. Fran does seem to be the punching bag of the group. Everything bad seems to happen to Fran. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fran. I never meant it to be like this. Oh dear. And quick attack. Let's just finish her off. Him. Ekans is a male there. And what else has he got? Zubat. Zubat. Fucking Zubat. Wait, why am I changing? I'm an idiot. I kept thinking, ah, oh, poison? I'll just put Alan out. That'll be fine. Even though grass is weak against poison. But it's flying as well, I should have kept Fran out. God, I'm an idiot. Oh, and it's used... Leech life is a bug attack, isn't it? Okay, let's just throw down a leech seed. Give it a taste of its own medicine. Ooh. Okay, so I don't think I've really got a lot to worry about from this Zubat. This uh, Team Rocket Grunt doesn't seem to be that much of a threat. Sorry, Team Rocket Grunt. <laughs> How much does that do? Two. It does two damage. Wow. And I have doubled that in what I got back. Lovely. <laughs> oh, come on. Just let me hit this thing. Ugh. And there we go, Zubat's down, lovely. I am good, aren't I? And I get some money as well as the nugget, lovely. Yes, that's the thing! You would become a team leader in Team Rocket. That's the thing. I mean, come on! J join him! Let me say yes, please! Oh Christ, Fran's poisoned, isn't she? Ooh, TM45. Sod it, let's go heal up. I remember the first time a Pokemon ever got poisoned and I had no idea what was going on with this screen flickering outside of battle. I was thinking, oh, oh no! Oh, what's happened to my game? Oh god, why? No, 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 no! <laughs> and then I was like, oh! Because whatever Pokemon I had fainted. And, uh, I was distraught. I was like, no, this can't happen. Pokemon can't fate outside of battle. No. My young hopes and dreams annihilated. So, where can we go? We can either go to the right up here. But I'm actually going to do a bit of searching down here. There's a Pokemon trainer down here. He saw my feet from the grass. Now, that spelling of feet probably means he saw us on the bridge, or it's a misspelling and he just saw my feet. <laughs> As in, the things on the end of my legs. Though I'm not sure how he would have done that from the grass, so I'm going to assume he just saw what we uh, did on the bridge. <laughs> Alright, Fran, let's take down this Rattata. Thundershock, now, go! Ooh, nice. Oh Christ, it knows Hyperfang? Jesus. 
No, to be fair, I didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. When does Ratata learn Hyperfang? It's only level 14. And an Ekans Sonnet. Let's keep Fran out. And it's got Intimidate. Well, I don't know if Electric is Special Attack or Regular Attack. So I don't know if Intimidate affects it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say no, it doesn't. And just Quick Attack to finish. Bosh. Hey, there we go. Camper Shane. And in this grass is the next member of my team. And it's not this guy. Okay, and now starts the endless trudging around trying to find the Pokemon I want. Lots of bug Pokemon around here. So, do you know what I'm after? And you know, I really hope it's actually up here. Because, uh... I think it's in this grass. But I'm not 100% on that. But I definitely think it is. <sighs> so, while we're running round and running into random Pokemon, I might as well explain a bit of my history with the Pokemon series. I started with the original Red and Blue back in the day. I got Pokemon Red, and my brother got Pokemon Blue for Christmas. It was awesome. That was back in the days. Oh my god, we've actually found it! Um, oh, uh, I did not expect that to happen. Right, if I try and do anything, Abra will teleport. So I just have to throw a Pokeball and hope. Now I know I said Abra is pretty useless. Oh shit. See, that's what it does. It just flees from battle. And you know what? I'm gonna see if I can buy some Great Balls or something. But, yeah, I'm going after an Abra. Surprise! <laughs> now, I know I said Abra's pretty useless at the moment. And it is at the moment. But it, it evolves into awesome, awesome Pokemon. They're fast, they're very powerful. And I really like them. So, yeah. Suck on that, anyone who doesn't like Abra. I was just happy that Barry had an Abra and couldn't attack with it. Uh, might as well heal up on him down here. But anyway, back to the, my history with the Pokemon series. Yeah, it started out with red and blue. My brother got blue, I got red. And we were at the prime age when Pokemon originally came out. We were in the major, like, school fanaticism that hit. So, we had trading cards, we watched the show, we had the games. I won a contest at school to design your own Pokemon card. That was awesome. And, yeah, it just went from there. Out came Pokemon Yellow, I got that. Eventually my brother kind of lost interest. He's not a big gamer these days, but that's fine. And I inherited his Pokemon Blue. But then I got yellow, I then got silver, he got gold, um, I actually sold my copy of silver and my brother sold his copy of gold, but I loved those games, I absolutely loved silver, because it was the first big expansion, loads of new Pokemon, new region and everything, so it was really, really exciting, and that was definitely the best days for Pokemon. But then, things started going downhill, I got Ru I got Ruby and Sapphire, both of them, because uh, my brother wasn't that interested. Fair enough, he'd already started growing out of it, I was still playing games. But, um... Oh! Fantastic! It's level 8, a bit lower level than the one we uh, ran into earlier. But let's just give it a go, okay. Pokeball! Go! Come on. Arse. Shit. I hate catching Abras. That was Zodish up here as well. St 
stupid face oddish. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, I played them, just didn't think they were that great. It was then that I started realising the stories were becoming repetitive, the only things that really changed was they introduced Team Magma and Aqua as the replacements for Team Rocket, and it just seemed weak. The stories got bad, you lost your big rival, here's another Abra, it's male. Let's see if I can get this one. Uh, what came out after Ruby and Sapphire was that... What was after Ruby and Sapphire? Hmm, I can't remember. I also got Pokemon Crystal. When that came out, played that, thought that was fun. It was alright. Let's try with this guy again. But yeah, over the years, my fandom of the Pokemon series has dwindled. Oh, yes! Level 10 male Abra. And what am I going to call this Abra? Sleeps for 18 hours a day. So it's a cat. Seriously, look at the face as well. Is Abra just a psychic cat? Hmm. Yes, I am going to nickname Abra. But what? He's the second male character in my team. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. You know, in honor of who we're about to be meeting, I think... B. I. L. L. That's right. Bill the Abra. So, we finally got our Abra. Hooray! It is level 10. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, it's jolly. It's a jolly Abra. <laughs> That's lovely. It is level 10, so we will definitely have to get him out first and level him up. Karen will have to take a bit of a back seat while we get him up to speed. And all it knows is teleport. Bit of a shame, but ah oh well. And its ability synchronize is quite nice. It passes on status problems to the opponent. So if you get paralyzed, the opponent will get paralyzed. It's pretty, pretty nice. And teleport will take me back to the healing spot. So back to the Pokemon Center. Really, really handy. So let's put Bill out front. Okay. What now? Let's actually see if I can teach him any TMs. Just out of interest. No, can't learn waterfalls. Can't learn roar. Actually, no one can learn roar. Of course, Alan can learn bullet seed. Rock tomb? No. Okay, so I can't... Ooh, attract. Oh, nice. <laughs> Poor Karen. <laughs> no one's attracted to you, Karen. Oh dear. Okay. And with Bill now in our team, let's progress. So. While I'm fighting these guys, I might as well finish my, uh... Retelling of my exploits for the Pokemon genre. I did get pretty much every game. Didn't get... Um... Okay, what game came with Platinum? It was... Something something Platinum. I honestly can't remember. Um, that is going to infuriate me. I can't believe I can't remember that. That's so annoying. But, oh well. Yeah, I haven't got black and white. I didn't get some of the new ones. I did get... Oh my god. <laughs> I did get uh, Soul Silver, just because I remember loving the Silver game and I really wanted an updated graphic version of it. And I do not regret that at all. Absolutely love it. It's wonderful. I love what they've done with that series. And, of course, Pokemon Fire Red, I love the updated game of this. Because 
Uh, I love the original game, but going back to play it now, I have a real problem going back and playing old games now. Like, I never played the original Final Fantasy VII. Never played Final Fantasy VII. I know, I know. Send your angry comments. But I borrowed it off a friend, stuck it in, tried to play it, and it's really, really hard to get into a game like that now that we have games with graphics like this. I know people say graphics shouldn't matter, and in all honesty, they shouldn't. But it, I just find it really hard to go back to an old game, especially with all the new conventions you have in games and all the stuff you're used to. I find it hard. I do. And I'm sorry for that. I am. I'm, I'm very sorry for that. Um... Yeah, I was so happy when Fire Red came out. And then it was like, oh my god, are they gonna... Are they gonna redo Silver and Gold? And they did! And it was amazing! It was so good! I got the um, special edition with the Lugia um, statue with it. I'm a big nerd, but I love Silver and Gold. They introduced some awesome new Pokemon and so many happy memories. So yeah, what what's your memories with the Pokemon series? Where did you where did you jump in? I'm interested to hear from people who didn't start off with Generation One, who came in at a later stage. Like, are those your favourite Pokemon because you grew up with them? Um. What do you think of the Generation 1 Pokémon? Do you think they're overrated? Let me know! I'm honestly interested on how people see Pokémon from a different perspective. Yeah, that's, that's really it. But anyway, let's keep beating down these trainers. Oh Christ, poor Fran. Fran does seem to be taking the brunt of most of this. Ooh, I might be able to finish off this Rattata before it kills Fran. Yes! Excellent. Wonderful. Spiro. Ooh, Spiro. Spiro is the other flying type, or early flying type, other than um, Pidgey. He just looks a bit more badass. Only has one evolution, though. Whereas Pidgey has three... no, two more. Sorry, three total, two more. Um, I'll probably pick up a flying Pokémon at some point. But what flying Pokémon? Will it just be a standard flying type Pokémon? Or will it be flying and something? Who knows? Who knows? Feels leveling up, this is good. Take that, Youngster Joey. I am decent, aren't I? Thank you, Youngster Joey. Hang on. Youngster Joey? This is Youngster Joey! That was his Rattata! That was the top percentage of Rattata from Pokemon Silver! Oh my god, I found Youngster Joey! Holy crap! <laughs> now I wonder if that was intentional or not. Now I can't remember if Youngster Joey in Silver also has a Spearow or... What am I doing? Or if he just has his... His, uh, his Rattata. I probably shouldn't be that uh, excited about that, but I am. That's really interesting. That's really cool. Okay, yes, let's battle. Hiker Wayne. Hello, Hiker Wayne. With your Onyx. Go Bill! And let's switch you out immediately. Uh, let's, I, I can't believe Youngster Joey's in this game and I never knew. That's ludicrous. Now I'm interested. Is there a Youngster Joey in all of the games? I mean, surely they must run out of names. I mean, they've got to reuse some names somewhere, surely. Hmm... That'll have to be something I research later. Dad took me to a great pub. Interesting. A boat party. You were on a boat. Motherfucker. <laughs> Slowpoke, I'm envious! Even though Slowpoke is pretty useless, 
and I do have both a water Pokemon and now a psychic Pokemon. I've always had a soft spot for Slowpoke. I mean, look at it. It's so dopey, it's so... It's just happy to be there. <laughs> it may not know exactly what it's doing, but it's going to enjoy every second of it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Who knows? Maybe I'll pick up a Slowpoke. Do you want me to pick up a Slowpoke? Because I can. Ow. Oh, I forgot. Psychic's super effective against poison. Ass. Okay. Bill's going up in levels. This is good. This is good. 